we need to lift the front end to put the, the jacks underneath the fuselage and it's quite heavy. Chief Engineer Franco is taking charge of what is the single biggest operation of the entire build. That'll do for that. Connecting a fragile half-ton wing with the freshly painted fuselage. We're now going to go down to the back end to lift the back end up quite high to get that trestle in. It takes quite a few of us to do this because it's quite heavy. Ready? Go. If they can get the fuselage at exactly the right height and angle, I think it's just the, floor. the wing should just slot into place. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa. Go back, down. go back down, go back down. Bolt's falling out. And off we go. Up we go again. Pins in. That one is, that one isn't. Meanwhile, Gary is making final checks on the wing. Anything that isn't secure is either going to fall out of place or fall on the floor or get caught in fingers, so... Just make sure everything that is there is secure. Unusually for a Spitfire restoration, this is the original wing, with only a few newly built parts. It's taken 10 months to restore. A Mark 9 Spitfire can perform 5G turns at 400 miles an hour. But under the skin, just eight bolts hold the wings on. Seven at the front, onto frame five of the fuselage, and one more bolt at the back, attaching to frame 10. And on this restoration, even some of the bolts will be originals. Peter came across a box of, of these rear spar bolts. Um, and you can see they're not being used because it hasn't got any drilling of split pinning, and they were covered all in wax oil. So, you know, that's, that's a ministry-made old bolt. Just making sure it's a nice fit in the hole on the wing. And then it's also a very nice fit on the fuselage. Right, shall we get this wing on? So what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up, get rid of the stand, flip it over, slide it in. Already at the back, actually roll it on this trestle and leave it on it. The moment of truth. After months of work... Ready? In. Will it actually fit? In a bit more. Wiggle it. That's it. Whoa. Whoa. Back up. Apparently not. Do you want to get the jack under? So it's got some... Down a little bit more. Go up. Hold it there. Everyone in the hangar has stopped what they are doing to lend a hand. Even Peter. But it's just not lining up. Whoa! Wiggle it out. Yeah, we're coming out. Take the jacket out. A tiny sliver of the skin is snagging. We're just going to slide the, the wing back out so we can just trim the skin so we can get the wing all the way on. It's not quite, it's just a fraction. Wiggle. Yes, it's coming. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. It moves when you take the bow out. Bit more, bit more, bit more. Hold it there. Steady, Franco. Thought this was precision engineering. Good. Yep. It's in. One perfectly aligned wing. I've taken some good photos, so um, I'll send those off to the owner and they should be happy. Bring on the next stage. It's a big step forward, but there's thousands of parts and thousands of hours' work still to go. And this Spitfire needs to be flying in just four months' time.